Boston Landing is located between the Mass Pike here and Guest Street to our left in Austin. And by looking at the chart, it makes it the 17th stop in total on the Worcester Framingham commuter rail line. For the first time in almost a half a century, the sound of trains grinding to a stop in Alston Brighton means people here are once again on the go. It's wonderful. Nicole Barone lives nearby but works downtown. She says despite enduring months and months of delays, her life just got a whole lot easier. My commute went from an hour to about 15 to 20 minutes. So for me, this is perfect. Construction started two years ago, and the $20 million price tag was paid for by neighboring New Balance. When you see a train coming down the tracks, what does it mean for the people who live here? It means a quick ride downtown. Boston City Councilor Mark and, uh, Sioma represents Alston Brighton. He says the station comes as another major step in the two million square foot Boston Landing development site. When finished, the 15 acres paralleling the tracks will be home to a new hotel, as well as office, retail, restaurant, and residential space. It's a great economic development catalyst. That final reality may still be down the tracks a bit, but for the here and now, today is all about getting to and from. I walk like 15, 20 minutes to the T, and then sometimes I do like an Uber pool or something, but this is going to be way easier. When it comes to maintenance and upkeep of the Boston Landing Station, that's going to be paid for by New Balance, at least for the next 10 years. In Austin, Doug Me and WCVB News Center 5.